Hello everyone, I'm City Manager Steve Adams, and I am here today to provide you the next series of updates on the city's response to the coronavirus. On April 7th, Governor Jared Polis extended the stay-at-home order for all Coloradoans through April 26, 2020. The city is adhering to the governor's order and will extend the closure of our facilities until April 27, 2020. While most facilities will reopen at that time, the Chilson Recreation Center and the Rialto Theater will remain closed through April 30th as these facilities are governed by separate state orders. We continue to receive your comments and concerns regarding social distancing being observed in our community. We want to take this time to remind you that wearing a mask outside of your residence is highly encouraged. It is estimated that up to 25% of all COVID-19 cases are being spread by those without any symptoms. So please do your part and cover your nose and mouth when you leave the house. Now, I'll provide you an update on the most recent confirmed cases of COVID-19. There are over 1.3 million cases globally, almost 352,000 cases in the United States, almost 5,000 cases in Colorado, and nearly 60 cases in Loveland. While these cases continue to grow, the doubling rate has slowed in Colorado from every two days to every six to seven days, which is a good sign. This means our efforts to stay inside are working. Our county health experts indicate that this outbreak has the potential to peak in Colorado during the month of April and will hopefully plateau and begin to decline in May. To help accelerate that, it is vital that you continue to stay inside, wash your hands, and maintain the appropriate distances when traveling outside the home. At this time, I want to answer some of the questions you have submitted since our last update. We have coordinated with the Larimer County Department of Health to provide responses to questions most suited for them. First question, many people like plumbers or electricians are performing essential duties, but they are not able to find the necessary protective equipment to enter people's home. Are there any local resources to connect essential workers with protective equipment? First, to all essential employees providing for our community during this time, thank you for your service. Your work is critically important. The city too is experiencing the PPE shortage for essential workers. Currently, protective equipment goes to the national stockpile and is distributed to tier one facilities with the greatest needs like hospitals or acute care centers. In the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security Act, CARES Act, 16 billion was allocated to build up the national stockpile with critical supplies, including masks and other PPE. Due to this shortage, we are looking locally to help meet the needs of our community. Our city is working with local businesses to identify production locations and hope to have that information posted on our website in the next week. If you need an immediate solution, you can fashion your own face mask from household items. It's important to use two layers of closed weave fabric and secure ties when creating your mask. Pipe cleaners make great nose clips, and with that, your mask should be complete. Next question, how are hospitals preparing for the influx of patients, and what steps have been taken to protect our healthcare staff? Area hospitals have been working with Larimer County Emergency Operations Center for weeks to prepare for the influx of patients. Recently, Larimer County and the state announced plans for an advanced alternate care site in the northern Colorado region at the Ranch Events Complex in Loveland. The site will serve as an overflow medical care facility and should help provide over 1,000 beds to hospitals reaching maximum capacity. This site will help provide another location to help relieve our local hospital staff who have been working tirelessly since the outbreak began. Last question. For those wanting to volunteer, what is the best way to do so? During this outbreak, it is best to coordinate volunteers through a central resource. 
Larimer County has a need for volunteers and has created an online portal for both medical and non-medical volunteers. Please see the link provided to access the county's volunteer portal. Thank you for tuning in today and please continue to send your questions to our COVID-19 email address so we can equip you with the information you need most. Please stay inside and stay well. Thank you.